Hey everyone, and welcome back. Today, we're putting two AI coding powerhouses head-to-head, -head, OpenAI's latest GPT-4.1, running inside the Cursor IDE, and Google's Firebase Studio, powered by Gemini 2.5. Both platforms claim incredible coding capabilities and improved instruction following. GPT-4.1, detailed in recent articles, boasts enhanced coding, especially for front-end tasks, and a massive context window. We're going to ask both to build a functional habit tracker web app from scratch, using similar prompts. We'll test their initial build, UI improvements, feature additions like editing slash deleting, and even how they handle image references for styling. Let's see which one comes out on top. First up, GPT-4.1 in Cursor. Here in Cursor, we're starting a new project with GPT-4.1. The prompt is simple. Create a habit tracker app. We want to add habits, track them daily with checkboxes, and persist the data using local storage. No backend needed for this test. Let's see what plan it comes up with. All right, GPT-4.1 has outlined the features. Habit name, daily repetition, a row with checkboxes for each day. It's chosen React and CSS, using local storage as requested, and even suggested a file structure. This looks like a solid plan. Let's tell it to proceed. And just like that, Cursor and GPT-4.1 have generated the initial code base. Let's run it and give it a quick test. We'll start the dev server. Okay, here's the app. Let's add a few habits like workout and read. We can check off the first day. Yep, works smoothly. The basic functionality is there. Functionally, it's okay, but the design is pretty basic. Let's challenge GPT 4.1 feet S known strength in front end code generation. We'll ask it to improve the UI, make it mobile friendly, and give it a modern look. Let's see how it handles this UI refinement task. Awesome. That definitely looks better. A cleaner layout, better spacing. Let's check the mobile responsiveness. Yep, it adapts nicely. Great improvement there. Now, a key feature for any tracker is editing or removing entries. GPT 4.1 is touted for its improved instruction following compared to previous models. Let's ask it to add edit and delete buttons for each habit. Okay, the code's updated. Let's test these new actions. I see the edit and delete buttons. Let's refresh to make sure it persisted. Yes, it did. Now let's delete. Gone. And the app still works correctly. It handled adding features flawlessly. All right, for the final GPT-4.1 test, image references. Can it look at a design and replicate its style? I found this popular habit tracker app online. Let's give GPT-4.1 this image and ask it to make our app look similar, focusing on the color scheme and general layout feel. This tests its vision capabilities and ability to translate visual style into code. Okay, it's finished. Let's see. Wow, it's definitely picked up the color palette from the image. The overall feel is much closer to the reference. Let's quickly test the core functionality again. Everything still works perfectly, even with the new styling. So GPT 4.1 in Cursor performed impressively. It built the app, handled UI refinements well, added features reliably, and did a surprisingly good job mimicking the style from an image reference. Its improved coding and instruction following really shone through. Now, let's switch over to Google's Firebase Studio and give Gemini 2.5 the exact same set of prompts. We'll start by asking it to prototype the Habit Tracker app. Firebase Studio uses its app prototyper agent. Let's see its plan. Okay. Firebase Studio provides a blueprint. It plans to include adding habits, daily tracking, progress visualization, and interestingly, a monthly overview, something GPT 4.1 didn't initially include. It also mentions color layouts and icons. This looks promising. 
Let's approve and let it build. All right, the prototype is ready. Let's check it out. So here's the app generated by Firebase Studio. We have the Add Habit section, Daily Tracking, and there's the Monthly Overview tab. That's a nice bonus feature it added proactively. Let's add Workout and Read. Okay, seems to work. Let's check off a day. Looks good. Now, just like with GPT 4.1, let's ask Firebase Studio to add the ability to edit and delete habits. We'll use the integrated chat powered by Gemini. Let's see how it integrates these actions. And there they are. Edit and delete options. We'll give Firebase Studio the same reference image we gave GPT 4.1 and ask it to make the app look similar. Let's see how Gemini interprets this visual prompt within Firebase Studio. Okay, interesting result. It seems to have pulled colors from the image, applying them somewhat randomly to elements like buttons and backgrounds. However, it didn't really capture the layout or overall style the way GPT 4.1 did. So what's the verdict? Both GPT 4.1 in Cursor and Gemini 2.5 in Firebase Studio successfully built the core habit tracker app and added edit slash delete functionality when asked. GPT 4.1, Cursor, showcased strong instruction following, excellent front-end refinement capabilities, and was notably better at interpreting the visual style from the reference image. It stuck closely to the initial request. Firebase Studio, Gemini 2.5 impressively added a relevant monthly overview feature proactively during prototyping. It handled feature additions well but struggled more with translating the image reference into a cohesive design. Ultimately, both are incredibly powerful tools. GPT 4.1 and Cursor felt slightly more polished in its code generation and visual interpretation for this specific task. Firebase Studio showed great potential with its proactive prototyping agent, even if the image handling wasn't quite as strong in this instance. The best choice likely depends on your specific workflow and priorities the raw coding power and refinement of GPT 4.1, or the integrated, agentic prototyping approach of Firebase Studio. What do you think? Have you tried either of these? Let me know your experiences in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI development comparisons.